What is going on everybody? It is the Marksman here and I am here with a tutorial video for you guys on how to set up your alerts using Botrix. Now this is a tutorial for those that have already set up their Botrix for their chats or whatever widgets they have. I will make some other videos on those and how to connect your uh, Botrix to Kick at a later time. But this is a tutorial for those that are still having issues with alerts or just want something to kind of learn how to do it. Um, if they're having issues. So we'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, just quick shout out to Gamenetics, Poggers Energy, and HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. With that being said, guys, we're going to get right into it. Okay, so like I said, guys, this is for those that have already connected their kick to the Botrix bot. Now, if you um, are just coming back in, make sure you guys have this checked off because if you don't, then it's going to be editing your Twitch settings or whatever you signed up with uh, by default. So you'll want to make sure you click the settings tab on here like these show. Make sure it shows that. Make sure right here it says kick and up here it says kick. With that being said, you're going to click on the alerts tab up here in the top, and then it's going to show you the screen. The screen right here is pretty much where you're going to make all your alerts. So at the top, you're going to have your URL after you're done editing, um, and then you have your preview alerts. So I personally already have them set up on my OBS. So for instance, if I hit subscription, So as you can see, it popped up right here in the middle of the screen. It had the image that I'm using and the audio, and it said, thank you for subscribing, and said this is a test down at the bottom. So what? another thing you can do is you can hit preview, and it'll bring up a, a popped out window where you can preview it if you have not got it connected to uh, your OBS yet, which is good because then you can take the preview thing, drag it over to your OBS, and kind of see where it would be. Uh, me personally, what I uh, what I did is I copied it, put it over into my OBS, and then I was adjusting things as it went. Now, the only two that I'm not sure about right now is the tip, donate, and kicks. Kicks, I think, is going to be their own version of tip slash donate. I'm not sure. I don't know what kicks is quite yet. And <clears throat> the tip, tip donate says these are direct donations through PayPal. A lot of people that I've seen that use bot tricks for their alerts, even when they get donations through PayPal, it does not pop up. So I'm not sure... Uh, what that does yet so we're going to ignore these two but the subscription gifted subs followers and raids can all be individually adjusted as you go so followers i have set at four seconds and everything else is six seconds you can have it active the styles there's default compact and botrix default is the best one to do because then you have more editing options so as you can see, I have the image with text over the image, as you can see whenever it popped up right here. That is the best one that I prefer. Um, it looks cleaner, and you can um, take up less space that way. Again, six seconds. I have it zoomed in, so it looks a little bit cleaner. For those of you that are very good at editing and making your own um, images and GIFs and audio, you can upload your own right here by clicking on this green button for either one and it will pop up your documents or whatever your downloads is and you can incorporate it that way or you can go on any platform and use the links um, i just use what they have and i based it off of halo because of my name being the marksman and being a big halo fan um so you can do that. You can set the volume. I say about 30 to 35 is probably the best so that you're not over um, crowding the volume with your alerts and stuff like that. You can change the color the color of the text. You can change the, um, the type of text it is, how high it is. So I have mine set to negative 20 pixels, so it's more on the bottom of the image. I have it to where it's supposed to wiggle a little bit. 32 pixels for the size it says thank you for subscribing X amount so you want if you want it to say thank you for uh, subscribing um, you want it to be like this that way you know how much um, of a sub they are so for instance if I do it again times three so it says times three right there 
So if you're someone that gets multiple subscribers or people that repeat, it will tell you how many times they have subbed um, and stuff like that. Appearance of the text, 0 milliseconds to 6,000 milliseconds. Just leave that as it is. Or if you have your own code, you can do that as well. You do have the option to import alerts from other platforms. So if you don't want to go through all this and doing it yourself and you like the ones that you were using from Twitch or YouTube or whatever you were using, you can just import those right here just as easy. Then obviously the last thing you want to do, so before you switch over to Gifted Sub, Followers, and Raid, always be sure to hit Save Settings because it will cancel out the settings that you just did if you're not careful. So always hit Save before you're done. I'm not going to do that because I'm not editing my stuff. Um... So definitely be sure to hit save and then you can go on and do the same thing with your other tabs. And then at the very end, you're going to copy your URL, go over into your Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio or whatever platform you use to stream, add your source under your live section and hit um, new C or new source and then browser source and then paste this URL into that source and then you can move it around however you would like. It's that simple, guys. There's not much to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit subscribe and like, and be sure to leave some comments down below. And I will be making some more tutorial videos coming up with the uh, widgets tab and chatbot, and just kind of going over a little bit more of what is in Botrix and how to set it up in Discord and stuff like that. So be staying tuned, guys. More videos coming. Thank you to Gamenetics, Poggers Energy, and HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.